Speaker of the House, members of uh, Parliament, I have one message for you. Adapt or die. Of course, the whole global community is in a climate emergency, but Africa is ground zero. And what we now experience with the, with the war in Ukraine, with the cost of living crisis, a food crisis, an energy crisis, climate adaptation is the poor cousin of the climate debate. In fact, particularly people from the North tell Africans there is no money left for climate adaptation to support African nations. Well, tell that to a mother in Makweni who has to walk four hours a day to fetch water because the rains are not coming and as a consequence takes her three children out of school. Tell that to a pregnant woman in Accra, Ghana who cannot reach the hospital because of the floods. Tell that to a young entrepreneur in Senegal who had this great idea about drip irrigation technology but cannot get a loan because he hasn't got credit. Africa needs a revolution on adaptation, yet adapt or die. There is good news, though. Over the last 12 months, under the leadership of President Ruto, the largest adaptation program, not just for Africa, but for the world, has been launched, the African Adaptation Acceleration Program. What is it? $25 billion over five years. Already in the first year, $6 billion has been dispersed. Is it enough? Absolutely not. How much is needed per year for Africa as a whole? $51 billion. How much is flowing today? $11 billion. So there is a massive gap which still it needs to be filled on climate adaptation because, as you know, members of parliament, climate adaptation is about development, is about people, is about the people who you represent. You as members of parliament have an extraordinary important role to play in this adaptation revolution. You oversee government, you approve budget, you set the laws and policies, precisely the laws and policies which the world needs, which Africa needs, which the people of Africa need. Secondly, as our moderator introduced, the Global Center on Adaptation is here with you. I'm from, full disclosure, I'm from the Netherlands in Europe, and three months ago I had the honor of welcoming President Ruto to the Netherlands, to our headquarters in Europe. We have the largest floating office in the world, and President Ruto said, well actually, I'm not a good swimmer, in fact, I cannot even swim, so, and we don't even have water in Nairobi, but we want to have such an office in Nairobi which epitomizes the climate adaptation agenda. So that is why we were very honored that yesterday President Ruto announced the largest nature-based office of the Global Center on Adaptation, which we will be built here in the coming year. Secondly, we know that you have a caucus of climate parliamentarians. There is a very uh, difficult acronym which I was told to, to, to share with you, which I'm sure you know, APNCA, and that today you also announce a specific working group on climate adaptation. That is critically important, we're ready to support. We're here on a journey. The world, two years ago, well, today we're at, at, at the summit, Kande is leaving, already, has already left. We're all running to summits, we come to summits. But two years ago, let us not forget, the international community promised to double international finance for climate adaptation. It has not yet delivered, and we need, need, we need you, your voices, to make that happen. Let me close. In the run-up to this summit, uh, um, Honorable Speaker of the House, I had the uh, honor to visit Kenya, not once, not twice, seven times since the beginning of this year. And I had the honor to meet Ann Ikinian in Makweni. Ann, a mother of five, she showed me what is possible in the field. She said, well, here, yes, we have the largest drought in 40 years, 
but I have drought tolerant seeds. I've seen that under the triple AP, the African Adaptation Acceleration Pro Program, certain interventions are done. Her kids are back to school. She's managed to produce her, her food. She's selling to local markets. So adaptation in action is possible, but it needs to scale up, it needs to speed up. What I learned when I was there in Makweni, and when I was humbled to meet with Anne, that Anne Akinye, that Akinye means in Luo, she told me, born in the morning. I'm absolutely convinced that the adaptation revolution is also born in the morning here in Nairobi during this summit, and we really are keen to work with all of you to make this revolution happen, because if Africa invests in adaptation, if you as parliamentarians make this your top priority, not only Africa is, is, is unstoppable, but the people of Africa who you represent are unstoppable. Thank you very much indeed. God bless Kenya. Thank you. Thank you.